Good evening. I'm Mark Seal with your CBC Sports World. Barbados Junior Middle Distance Runner Mary Frazier is in line for the coveted Austin Seeley Award after she won her third gold medal at the ongoing Crifter Track and Field Championships in St. Kitts. Competing in the under-18 girls 800-meter final this evening, Frazier ran 2 minutes, 11.63 seconds for the gold, following up her victories in the 3,000 and 1,500 meters. The bell lap. And Fraser right behind her. Dixon as well, still in the mix again. May still in front. Fraser just behind her. Now here comes the runner from Dominica. That's Kelandi Bully, who was coming up now on the shoulder of Fraser, looking to take over second place, and indeed she does. As they come around the final turn Sinkins, towards the home Sinkins stretch, looking to make a run that for is St. Kitts and Nevis, you're right. Let's see, let's see if she's got the energy. And I think the home crowd she's will certainly pull her. About it, but you've got to keep your eyes Here comes Frazier, boy. There goes Mary Frazier going for it. Frazier, wow, this young lady's a great runner, hasn't she had it? She timed it perfectly, and it will be her third gold medal, Mary Frazier. And I'll say that may indeed put her in the rankings for the Austin Sealy Award, Mary Frazier. Now, last evening, Frazier got her second gold of the games in the 3,000 meters, finishing in a new Barbados record of 10 minutes, 27.91 seconds. Elizabeth Williams got the bronze in that same event in 10 minutes, 33.45. There is the bell, and Shakiba Pink will try to hold off Mary Frazier, who is, again, biding her time to make her final move. Williams falling off the pace a little bit, is in the third spot. But this one is going to come down between Frazier and Pink, Shakiba Pink. Still striding ahead of Mary Frazier, who looks as if she's just waiting her opportunity. Now Pink's trying to stretch the lead, but Frazier up to the challenge, just striding along behind her, knowing that she has the opportunity at any moment to kick. And we'll see whether or not Shakiba Pink can hold her off. And my guess is that Frazier is just waiting for her moment, and then will take over the race, passing on the outside shoulder with about 200 meters to go, which is probably what she's doing. I really think we really deserve the medal here, Marcellus. Yeah. With all of that hard work. Which medal should we get, we don't know yet. Well, and now there goes Frazier, making a break with about 200 meters to go. And I think she caught Pink by surprise. Pink looked to the inside, and, and it was Frazier decking around to the outside and went for the finish. And it will be indeed Frazier coming into the finish line, pulling away from the rest of the field. And Pink may have a work cut out to keep Williams at bay for the silver medal. But here comes Frazier. And now Pink fighting it out with Williams for the second place. And it will be Shakiba Pink of St. Martin holding on for the silver. Williams takes the bronze. Now a few moments ago, Mario Burke completed the sprint double when he won the boys under 20, 200 meters in 21.51 seconds. There is our start. There are only five runners now. On the outside is... And boy, that is the runner from... Trinidad and Tobago, who was pulled up, that is Farina. And the race now down to four competitors. As they come towards the finish line, it is Barbados. And I think St. Kitts and Nevis on the inside may have gotten in there. And as they come into the power stretch now, the last 20 meters of the race, St. Kitts and Nevis, Barbados fighting it out, and there's Barbados. Another gold went to Rivaldo Leacock after he won the under-18 boys 400-meter hurdles last evening in 51.34 seconds. So that's a world youth leading time. Continuation of the 2015 Griffith Track and Field Championships. And they are underway and coming up on the first hurdle. Let's see who comes over first. It looks like Barbados on lane 8 who has crossed the first hurdle. And so far so good for him as the Rivaldo Leacock. Uh, Leacock of Barbados as he maintains a slim lead at the moment. Kobe John of Trinidad Tobago making up the stagger very quickly. On the inside is also Javni James of Jamaica. But so far so good for Rivaldo Leacock of Barbados. Can he maintain that lead however as they come around the turn and into the final stretch of hurdles for the straightaway. Is Leacock still in front? Here is Jamaica as well running strongly and Trinidad Tobago also running well, but Leacock on the outside lane in lane eight, maintaining his pace. It is indeed Leacock running away from the field. It is Leacock in first place. 
and he gives a cheer to the crowd. Now, Leacock also won bronze this evening in the boys' 18, 18, under 18 110 hurdles in 13.3 seconds, while in the under 20 boys' 400 hurdles, Stephen Griffith also copped bronze. And Jonathan Jones, another bronze in the boys under 2800. Now up to news time, Barbados had 16 medals, 7 gold, 4 silver and 5 bronze. The games are currently live on MTTV's Carib Vision channel, that's channel 109, with TV8 rejoining the broadcast after the evening news at 7.30. Now, Barbados continued to pile on the medals last evening at the Carifta Swimming Championships right here in Barbados at the Wilde Aquatic Centre. The Bajans were in second position overall heading into day three with 316.5 points after capturing 15 medals on day two of the championships. Now those medals included record performances from Nkosi Den Woody in the boys 11 to 12 400 IM and the 30 to 14 boys 400 meter medley relay team who set a new Carifta mark of 4 minutes, 11.48 seconds. CBC's Damien Best reports on some of the Barbadian gold medal performances. Carifta Swimming Championships in full swing at the Aquatic Centre Barbados. Well, they give the local fans something to cheer about. This is the 11 to 12 200 meter freestyle. Closing stages in this one. It's all about Daniel Titus. Wearing the yellow cap in the middle of the pool has a lead and would not relinquish it. Gold medal to her, the winning time, 2 minutes 18.63 seconds. Well, before you knew it, Barbados had a second goal. Compliments and Cozy Dunwoody. 11 to 12 boys. Again, focus on the middle of the pool. Yellow cap. Definitely a polished performance from him. Cruz is home taking gold as well 2 minutes 11.47 seconds but making a big splash in the pool was Damon St. Pri as well 13 to 14 boys only a few meters left in this one and St. Pri was moving at express pace dismissing the other swimmers with authority and he would touch the wall in 1 minute 58.68 seconds 15 to 17 boys now, same distance, closing stages, really a keen battle developing. Alex Sobers of Barbados in the yellow cap, hard pressed by Nico Campbell of Jamaica. Sobers though had the extra kick when it mattered the most. And of course, the reach at the wall, taking gold, 1 minute 54.40 seconds. Ashley Weeks and Titus then produced the goods to land a double blow for Barbados in the 400 meter individual medley. A great test of endurance and they pass with flying colors. Titus collecting goal in five minutes, 37.51 seconds and weeks the silver in five minutes, 40.92. To round out our package then, Dunwoody left tongues wagon in the 11 to 12 boys 400 meter im the record in this one held by louis sebastian weeks also of barbados five minutes 9.20 seconds and dunwoody well he erased that in spectacular fashion strong from end to end there was no stopping him the record time five minutes 8.18 seconds well done indeed a good time in the pool damien best cbc sports